Today is the sad day for the Dragon Ball creator had died this year and this is why I've been thinking why to create a Dragon Ball to contribute the respect of the creator of Dragon Ball in this session. So I looked through for the internet and searched for a Dragon Ball and the of the animation mega is over here as the Dragon Ball of the creator look like this. This is the guy that I need to work on it. It has the orange shirt and blue and the spiky hair. So I've been thinking, let's work on this out. So everyone know that Dragon Ball have a very powerful abilities that do look like him. So I start out with the dress up and set up for my shirt. As I don't have an orange shirt, I choose prefer red. Because of the shirt that I have left of color, I choose this color of red and black. Oh my god, why is it so tight? And I need to start with workout on my muscle because I skinny as f So this is the point I need to start with workout. And so yeah, that's my muscle. So after the dress up, I need to add up very tough as I need to train my action. So I took several shots of my actions that I, I definitely need to look like very mature. Something like this. It's over 9,000. You don't want to be like this. This is disgusting. So come to day 2 right, I need to sketch up my plan. So Dragon Ball hair is look like very spiky. More look like Duyan actually. Nah, my hair is straight, that's a problem. And this is where I add tough for my action. And I need to look more powerful. And that's where I need to step on the stone. But I choose not to do that because I don't have the actual shoes and what Dragon have. Last but not least, I need to create a hand for me to hold the Dragon Ball and clash it on from my hand. I don't know why I did that, but I just YOLO. This is the point that I need to practice my hand for the holding stuff because it's difficult to let the object land on my hand. So I need to focus on the problem and then solve it into the issue. So yeah, that's all it. And something come to my mind of the special thought, right? I need to have a popular phrase that you guys for familiar is over 9,000! And I'm ready to start. So I took a snapshot for my actual footage and I need to change my hairstyle into a spiky hair like Dragon Ball. And please don't ask why my hair is so spiky because I need to follow the concept. So I follow the references right? and you remove the pocket and to change the red shirt into an orange shirt color. And this because of orange one, right? I need to have a logo on my shirt and there's one problem. I can't even cut through my shirt and then they have new boot my muscle replace my skinny muscle into a huge muscle oh i know lah you guys say my muscle is very skinny now i built my muscle really lah something like that i now feel so jealous Next is to I need to copy the background and paste it on my photoshop because of the color background I need to have a very stable color and the power of the background I need to centralize the color to make it match for the sequence that I've copy and paste wherever I can for the power to look more related and the now this is the point where I have a difficulty to make my hair and muscle color match together because of the color correction, color creating white, I need to add more color to make it match like the image. So what I did is to make an eraser, removing the unwanted layer, match the color as much as possible. Then I search for Dragon Ball actual logo to put it in front of my chest to make it more like a Dragon Ball Z and I made my color a correct shape as well. So after all this, that's the final result. So come to day 3 right, you guys already know that I need to create after effect where I need to make my hair stand out as spiky shape. So I convert my original footage into a green screen. This is why I love putting green screen on my background. 
So let's get into it. After converting a green screen, right, I focus it on my hand first. As I remove the, the background, and I need to put a uh, dragon ball on my hand to make it more realistic. That I'm holding a real dragon ball hand. So then I mask it on my finger to make sure they can look more like a hand holding on the ball itself. And then go it to make it more like light flush fully on my hand. Then I crush it. Sorry, Dragon Ball, I don't mean to do that. But I really need to do that as the after effect. And I finally done with the hand. Next one is my body posture. At this the hair, I need to put on my head. At this putting on my head, right? I need to do the same thing as calculation, which took me a lot of time for it. And after you guys know right, after a black hair, I convert into a most powerful jockey hair. A yellow golden hair. I stick it on my head just for the mesh. And the hair, I need to centralize a bit to move more natural. So what I do is remove the pocket as well and match it the same color for my shirt. So after completing a match up color, right, I almost completed my project. And as soon as I finish the project, right, I'm happy with the what I done for the effect. And that's all. And it crashed. <coughs> so what I say, I'm uh, uh, happy for the project. Right? I need to mask up and touch up everything before I can submit my project into a YouTube and MSU as well. Man, I'm dying of doing this, and that's the result. <laughs> It's over 9,000!